part two of this RPG Maker VXX tutorial. Um, in this part, we're gonna be going through um, basically how to add custom music into your game. Um, tile sets. We're not gonna really be going over tile sets like that because it's not free. And basically, we're going over what we can do with the free version. Um, well, not the free version of the, of the program, but what you can do for free, basically. Um, all right, now tile sets. When it comes to tile sets, you can get extras. I mean, obviously, this is, these are these are just the basics. I mean, if you want, you know, extras, you can visit. Um, let's see here. You can visit this site right here. Um, and basically, you just go through this site, and you can find packs and stuff, sound packs, resource packs, um, and basically tile sets that you want. You can buy those. So, you know, if you're interested in doing that, I mean, go ahead and head head over to this site. See, here you go right here, modern day tiles. You know, I rather have these for the game, but you know, I'm not paying for them. Um, yeah. All right. So basically. What we do now is custom music. So what you want to do for your custom music is you want to go to um, Resource Manager F10. We'll click this button right here. Go to Audio Background Music Import. Then you go to wherever your music is stored. Highlight them all. Click OK. And I highlighted all these, and they got done in a matter of five seconds. I'm not even lying to you. So um, basically, I'll I'll do it again for you. Delete all these. Boom. Import. Downloads. Right up. Open. One, two. Oh, two seconds. All right. See, there you go. There's all our sounds again. All right. So, like I said, like I said from the last video, we're gonna continue from where we left off. Basically, we left off in a system right here, and I told you guys to get together what um how you want your how you want your music for your your music to be your title screen music. Um, your currency unit. Um, I obviously want to put dollar for mine. I forgot to do that. Um, also made a character class for my guy. It's called Savage Class, basically. And I mean, I gave him a description. The description says a young man born to no home and left with his brother who was thought to be dead. His nickname the Savage. All right. So his class is called the Savage Class, basically. I didn't give him any moves yet. Um, these moves are really good enough. They sound like savage moves already. The only thing I really did, I tweaked his stats a little. Um, like his, you know, how he progresses through the story. I made him like a little stronger than the other classes because, you know, it's called savage. It's supposed to be stronger. Feel me? Alright. So I gave him a gun. Um, basically a small pistol uses 9mm bullets. Um, what I stopped at was I, I needed to get like an animation for when you use the gun. All right, so um, let's find something that looks like it'll be good. That's damn sure not a gun. That's more like a scratch. Um, oh yes, you gotta we're gonna unlock that move later on in the game for sure. Um, yeah, basically these these animations they really make you wanna build on and create cutscenes which we're gonna begin to later. Um <coughs> Alright so basically we're gonna use this for our gunshot. Doesn't sound like a gun at all but whatever. Um so we use that. Alright so go back to our weapon animation hit physical. I'm gonna leave that damage the same, we're not gonna bother it. We're just gonna work with the gun for now as the basic tool. Alright? Um Okay, I didn't I didn't bother anything else. I just left everything else the same, you know, for the tutorial. I'm gonna click apply. Whoops. What's the next on our thing? Custom music. We got our music in there. Um sprites, basically that tile sets and your created character and stuff like that. So now what you guys probably been waiting for, which is probably the most confusing part of this um of making the game, the events. Now what is an event? A uh, event is basically cutscenes you know something triggers a switch can be an event talking to a person is it basically an event alright they use the trigger things in the game basically you can have a switch at the beginning of the game and if you don't push it when you get to the end of the game you won't be able to beat it because you didn't push that switch that is something you can do you know you know it's just you know you can be a troll like that and you make the game your way you want to make it so um but basically how to make them 
All right. So we want a cutscene, basically. We want a cutscene in this part for when the game, when the game first starts. You're gonna have him talking to himself. So what you do is you click this button right here, event, or click or push F6. You wanna go to a random slot. You're not gonna walk in. You're not gonna be able to walk in. You wanna go new event. Oh yeah, events can also be used to, you know, enter different areas like a door or something. Matter of fact, let's start with the door first. So let's start with the door first. So um. New event. Well, whoops. Right click it. Quick event creation. I'm gonna put a transfer. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going a little bit too fast. Uh, I also renamed the game to Pure Savages. That's gonna be the new name for us. All right. So what you wanna do is you go to new map. You wanna make instead of just having a house, you wanna make a full open area. You wanna name this world. You don't have to name it that, but I'm just gonna name it that. You wanna name it world. You're gonna give it the field um, tile sets. You're gonna make it maybe um, 100 by 100, depending on what you wanna do. I'm gonna go 50 by 50, um, and you get this pretty large area right here. It's pretty, it's pretty large. All right, um, some grass. You know, go back into your map edit mode. And you, got, you got some grass right here. Make sure to go into that rectangle. And then, there you go, you got some grass right there. Basically, it's going to really take us too long to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete, well, what you could do, uh, what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to delete the world. I'm going to right click and I'm going to put load sample map. Basically, what this does is it's an already made map that you can use. I'm going to, I'm going to use for the tutorial. You know, it has so all these different things you can pick, devil's castles and stuff like that that you can use later on in your game. I'm just gonna go with um a regular town. Load it up and here we go right here. Alright. So whoops. We wanna make we wanna make our house say like this little red house right here. This is gonna be our house. So what you do is you go to quick creation event, you wanna put a door right there. All right, whatever door you want. Um, like I said, this guy he's not that rich, so you you don't want to have such an expensive door. So we're gonna go with this wooden one. Put a door right there. We wanted the, our destination to be inside Gunner's house, but not right, not exactly in the first square, because that's gonna be how we get out. So we're gonna put it right here, uh, one ahead of the first square. Or you can put it. It doesn't matter where you put it, but you know I'm gonna put mine right there. All right. So we're going back to Gunner's house. And then we're gonna put a transfer, not a door, a transfer. Alright? Direction basically means what which direction you're looking at when you get outside the destination. So what we're gonna do is we wanna go back, we wanna go outside to the regular town. Okay? Alright, now let's test it out. Alright, basically, you know, we got a little house right here. You see nothing happens because that's just where we come in at. Go out the door, boom, we're in the city now. We're in the city now, alright? You wanna go back in? Boom. Go under the door, we're back in the house. See how simple that is? It's very simple, very simple. Alright, so as for doors, I basically should show you how to get in and out of places, go set up doors, set up switches to open these doors, which we're gonna get into shortly. Okay. Now for the big thing, right now we're gonna go through a cutscene, a simple cutscene. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click a place we can never walk to. New event. I'm gonna call it cutscene. Well call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it cutscene. Basically just a show. And we're gonna make it we're gonna make it um below characters. What below character means you can walk on it. Same characters mean you can't walk on it. Above it, um I'm not sure. I never use above it, so I'm not. I can't really tell you. But we're gonna make it below, and you want to trigger it by auto run. All right. So that means as soon as the game starts, this is gonna happen. So first thing we want to do is we gonna we wanna um let's see. I guess we can fade in screen, and um you wanna edit that, make it. Uh, I don't even think you can edit fade in screen. All right. So basically, we're gonna fade in the screen. We're gonna show some text. Take our face. 
put some things in here like just for the you know put anything you want but this is just for this tutorial I'm gonna make them say man this is the awesome tutorial then I'm gonna put in another text to my unknown person Alright, so basically that we're not done yet because since it's on auto run that means every time we go into this house that will happen we don't want that to go like that so what we're going to do is we're going to put control self switch on new event page switch all right no, no, no. self switch hang on all right i'm pretty sure this is how i did it. i haven't worked with this in a minute but i'm pretty sure this is how it goes all right save your changes test it out There we go. Man, this is the awesome tutorial. You're right, Gunner, it is. Alright, that's finished. We're gonna leave the room. Come back in. It doesn't happen again. See? That's how exactly how we wanted to go. Okay. Now basically you what you do is what I did was if you didn't catch it the first time I put control self switch on and then I put another event page which was the self switch which automatically disables the event after it happens and like you only want to do this for basically um boss characters like when you walk up to a person and you know he um he wants to fight you or something like that you don't want to like you want him to disappear afterwards this is when you use something like that there all right, so um, now to trigger a battle, let's see. Um, we're gonna put a character right here. We're gonna put an event right here. A random person. Um, let's see. Mm, let's go to an evil person with a hood on. He's gonna be standing right there. Now I'm gonna knock out two birds one stone with this one right here. Basically, what this guy says is. Strong enough to beat me. I'm gonna make him say that. Don't forget to add a face graphic to him. Oops. Strong enough to beat me. Make sure you preview. See? It came out a little bit, so we can't really see the whole thing. Um, so that's why you preview before shit like that happens. You think you're strong enough to beat me? All right. Boom. Okay. Now what you want to put here is show choices. Yes. No. No will cancel out the choice. Choice two. Cancel. All right. Choice one. Hell yeah. Choice two. No. Not yet. I'm going to make them say no, not yet. And basically where I'm taking this is, alright, you can use this character as somebody that gives you some awesome power if you beat him. Like an awesome armor that you can't get nowhere else in the game until you beat this guy. Alright, so, and when you put, yeah, what you want to do is you click this spot right here. Right under, hell yeah, you click insert. And you want to add a, bot, a battle processing. I didn't create, uh, um... Uh, enemy for this guy, so basically he's just that guy. Um, I don't worry about that right now. All right. Um, so can you escape? Continue even when loser. That's what you want. So, boom. If you win, let's see. You get um. Hmm, see, what should we give him if you win? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Mm. Give me a second, folks. Trying to look for the right thing to use for this. Alright, I think I know what to use. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to change gold, increase your gold. 
well, let's say 10,000 or 100,000, whatever. And that's how much you get for beating a strong guy. If you lose, he's going to say, I'm going to make him say, um, come back when you're stronger. Come back when you get stronger. Stronger. Come back when you get stronger. All right. So if you win, hold on. If you win, we want to make him say something too. So I want to make him say, um, let's see. I'm going to make him tell him his name. His name is going to be like Margo or um, Mar Margo. Are right, you going to go with Margo? All right. Margo or Morgan. There we go. Incredible. I'm going to make him say incredible strength you have. Is that how you spell strength? I ain't gonna say strength because I'm even. i not even sure how to spell it. Incredible power you have. For beating me, I will tell you my name and give you this massive amount of gold. Massive amount of gold. The name is Margon. You will meet me again. All right. Incredible power you have. Let's let's make let's dim the background a little when that happens. All right. Get the gold. If you lose, come back when you're stronger. All right. So um. Now after you win, this is what you want to do. If you win. You want to put the control self switch back in there. So he never comes back. Nope, so he, he we won't see him anymore. Alright. So apply. Click OK. Um, now let's test it out and see. If I'm going too fast, just leave a comment and let me know to slow down, Gunner Man, because, you know, you're moving too fast for us. Alright. There's our guy. Press Z to talk to him or a character. Uh, um, no, not yet. Alright, whatever. Oh, you think you're strong enough to fight me? Let's fight him. Probably gonna lose because his name is this is the demon. This is one of the strongest names out there. Oh, killed this in one hit. Look at that. Uh, see? Works perfectly like a charm. It's pretty easy when it comes to stuff like this. Um now, one last thing I'm gonna show you guys in this part two is um a common cutscene. Um, all right, so basically, all right, what you want to do is we're gonna have our guy walk over this bridge right here, and he's gonna step in this exact spot right there. All right. Matter of fact, no, no, no. no. To do this cutscene, all right, this is a little bit too advanced to show you guys right now. I want you guys to get um get a little acquainted with the controls so on a later vid I will show you as for now basically we got the battle down we got the battle um, battles down pack done we got basically talking to characters and dialogue finish um, coming up with stories cutscenes cutscenes should have been later but we went ahead and did it now since they go along with events no 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 cutscenes is later my fault my fault alright so yeah cutscenes is later already we'll, you'll get to that in part 4 Alright, so basically what I really want to cover was the events. Alright, so basically guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this vid right now. Um, part 3 will be coming soon, so be on the lookout, subscribe and like.